2005, the man known to be the oldest man executed since 1978, John B. Nixon was executed at the age of 77 after being on death row for 20 years. Now most people were more focused on the moral aspect of his execution and becoming emotionally involved with this execution rather than focusing on the amount of money that was put into his case and how much it worsened our economic crisis. As of right now, the United States is in about $15 trillion in debt, while California alone is in about $40 billion in debt. So according to Philip Scott in the, criminal, in the Journal of Criminal Law and Criminology, he points out that most people are unaware of how much the death penalty costs and that it costs a lot more than a regular sentence to life in prison. So rather you are for the death penalty and believe that if someone commits murder, he or she should be executed with the death sentence, or if you're against the death penalty and believe that no person should be executed regardless of what he or she has committed, then you probably still are not still are not taking into consideration how much the death penalty costs as a whole and how much it worsens our economic crisis. So in this speech, I'm going to explain to you how much money is associated with the death penalty as a whole. First, I'm going to explain how much it costs to, how much the trials cost in death penalty. Second, I'm going to explain how much it costs to incarcerate a death row inmate and why. And third, I'm going to explain how much it costs to actually execute a death row inmate and why. So according to the Death Penalty Information Center, it costs around $50,000 to incarcerate a death row inmate for one year when it only costs around $30,000 to incarcerate an uh, inmate that has not been given a death penalty. But why is this so? A lot of people think that this is a fast and easy process of someone going to court, being proven guilty, given the death sentence, and soon after that being executed. But that's not the case at all. The state wants to make sure that they got the right person and that you're guilty and that they're giving you the right sentence. So since 1978, 900 individuals have been given the death sentence in California alone. And of those 900 individuals, around 14 of them have been executed. Only 14. And this process takes so long, and the trials take so long, that out of those 900 individuals, 83 of them have actually died of natural causes before they can even be executed. So these trial cases incur lots of costs for both the state and government courts, which include, which include payments for the actual courts, for the prosecutions, and for those who need legal, legal representation appointed to them because they cannot afford it themselves. And also, there's a lot of costs that go into, a lot of costs um, add up because there's a lot of people, I mean, these cases need a lot more attorneys, they need a lot more government officials, they need a lot more judges and security than a regular case of a person that did not get the death penalty. So also according to the California Commission on the Fair Administra Administration of Justice, it costs around one costs around fifty thousand dollars to Sorry, it costs around $1 million to incarcerate a death row inmate for one year when it only costs around $50,000 for a death row inmate to be incarcerated for one year, while it only costs around $30,000 for a non-death row inmate to be incarcerated for one year. And $37 million is put into the death row inmate because they have to be separated in different facilities than the regular inmates. The men are held at the San Quentin State Prison while the women are at the Central California's Women's Facility. 
and the state has various security regulations and procedures that go into these prisons. Um, for instance, they have that to be held in separate single person cells the, on 24 hour watch and when they're out of the cells they have to be handcuffed and escorted by one or two officers at all times. So because of these high security regulations it costs a lot more for the death row inmates to be incarcerated. And then a lot of money is actually wasted because a lot of death row inmates have their sentences either revoked or reduced or they die before they can actually be executed. So of the 900 individuals since 1978 that have been given a death sentence, 75 of those have had their sentences revoked or reduced. So that comes up to about $30 million that has been wasted right there. And according to Michael Krizik, who is an American journalist who has been appointed solely to represent the death penalty executions, there are five different methods of execution. There's the gas chamber, there's lethal injection, electrocution, the firing squad, and you have hanging. The gas chamber, lethal injection, and electrocution are the three most known and three most used in the United States. But hanging and firing squad are still used in some states. But here in California, the two primary, primary methods of execution are the lethal injection and the gas chamber. And when you compare the actual execution to the years of trials and the long process, you find out that the executions don't really cost as much. So for instance, the, le the drugs used for lethal injection, there are different drugs out there used for lethal injection, but the most common and the most, most known drug is a three drug cocktail that only costs around $86. But the other drugs that are out there can sometimes cost up to $15,000. So, and then you also, and then the, uh, every time the electric chair is used, it costs around $1,100, and each time the gas chamber is used, which includes all the chemicals used for the gas, is around $1,500. So then you also have to take into consideration the payments used, the payments for the facilities used, and the actual executors, and then also the money that's put into cleaning uh, maintaining and fixing all the facilities and ev everything that's used within the execution. And as I mentioned earlier, the a lot of people's sentences either be reduced or revoked, so of course these costs will not be, these total costs will not be added to their cost of their cases. And since 1900, I mean since 1978 to 1900, um, death row inmates have been given a death sentence, around 75 of them have been, have had their sentences revoked, so that comes up to around $30 million wasted. So in this speech, I explained the costs associated with the death penalty. First, I explained how much it cost for the actual trial. Second, I explained how much it costs to incarcerate a death penalty person and why. And third, I explained how much it costs for the actual executions. So now I have given you more info on the death penalty. You guys can now go out there and make an educated choice on Prop 34. Thank you.